Brethren, it is now my duty to inform you of the purpose of the evening, which is to install the, the Provincial Grand Master designate for the province of Warwickshire. Brethren, the installation of a Provincial Grand Master is the most significant event within a province. And this evening is no exception despite these extraordinary times. In installing our Provincial Grand Master designate this evening, we are going to benefit from the experience of a most able mason. However, the duties of a right worshipful provincial grand master are onerous. You must treasure his every being. You must ensure that the responsibilities he has not only within the craft, but in the royal arch, you enable him to discharge them carefully and fully. Look after him, brethren. And his tenure is a long one to enable the stability that the province needs. If you look after him, he will be enabled to look after you. Your provincial grand master needs treasuring and looking after just like you looked after me. Make sure you do the same with him. Provincial Grand Director of Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master, the Provincial Grand Master designate is in attendance and desires to present himself for installation. And here, this is patent. I will inspect the patent. Patent is in order. Provincial Grand Director of Ceremonies, you will escort the Provincial Grand Master designate into the lodge room. To order, brethren, to receive the Provincial Grandmaster Designate. Provincial Grand Secretary, you will now read the patent of appointment. To all and every our rightful, worshipful, worshipful and loving brethren, we, Edward, George, Nicholas, Paul, Patrick, Duke of Kent, Knight Companion of the Most Noble Order of the Garter, etc., 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 etc. Grand Master of the most ancient and honourable fraternity of free and accepted Masons of England. Send greeting. Know ye that we, of the great trust and confidence reposed in our right, trusty and well-beloved brother, Philip Lawrence Hall, of Upper London in the county of Stafford, past Deputy Grand Director of Ceremonies of the United Grand Lodge of England, past Assistant Provincial Grand Master of the Provincial Grand Lodge of Warwickshire, do hereby constitute and appoint him Provincial Grand Master for Warwickshire with full power and authority to constitute and regulate lodges as occasion may require, subject nevertheless to our approval, and also to do and execute all and every such acts and things pertaining to the said office, as usually has been or ought to be done and executed 
by other provincial grand masters, and joining him, the said Philip Lawrence Hall, to take special care that all and every the members of every lodge he shall constitute have been regularly made masons, and that they and the members of all other lodges within his province do observe, perform, and keep the rules and orders and regulations contained in the Book of Constitutions, except such as have we or shall have been repealed at any quarterly communications or other general meeting, together also with all such rules, orders, regulations, and instructions as shall from time to time be transmitted by us or by our deputy grand master or by any of our successor grand masters or their deputies for the time being. And we do will and require that you as provincial grand master cause at least one general meeting or communication to be held in every year and that on those and all other occasions you promote whatever may be for the honour and advantage of masonry and the benefit of the grand charity and that you yearly send to us or our successor grand masters an account in writing of you promote whatever may be the honour and advantage of masonry the proceedings therein that you shall forthwith transmit to us in a particular statement of the lodges you constitute under warrant from the Grand Master and when and where holden with a list of the several members of the said lodges and copies of all such rules, orders and regulations as shall be made for the good government of the same and whatever else you shall do by the virtue of these presents given at London under our hand and seal of masonry this the 30th day of October Anna Lucius 6020 Anno Domini 2020 by command of the most worshipful Grand Master Thank you Brother Secretary Worshipful Brother Philip Lawrence Hall, your skills and abilities are well known to all within this province. From the early days of you being initiated into the Lodge of St. Blaise, number 6113 in 1992, and your rise to being an, uh, a Provincial Assistant Grand Director of Ceremonies, followed by your exemplary conduct as Provincial Grand Director of Ceremonies within this province. Then, of course, we are all fully aware of your exemplary three years as a Deputy Grand Director of Ceremonies with the United Grand Lodge of England. Great pride was shown by us within Warwickshire at the way you conducted yourself throughout that time. That, of course, has now led to you being appointed the most excellent Grand Superintendent in and over the province of Warwickshire. However, I must now, whilst we understand your skills, formally inquire, can you conscientiously discharge the duties of the office to which you have been appointed? I can, right worshipful provincial Grand Master. Then you will kneel while the blessing of heaven is invoked upon our proceedings. To order, brethren. Vouchsafe thy countenance, Almighty Father and Supreme Ruler of the Universe, to this our solemn assembly, and grant that this right worshipful and distinguished brother, who is now about to be enrolled amongst the provincial Grand Masters of the Craft, may be endued with wisdom, judgment, and the ability to enable him to perform the duties of his high office. Put down upon him thy grace, and support him with thy mighty power, that he may be duly qualified to execute his important trust to the advantage of the order and to the honour and glory of thy most holy name. So, so may it be. be. You will now advance to the pedestal, kneel on both knees,
place both hands on the volume of the sacred law and recite your obligation. To order, brethren. I, Philip Lawrence Hall, in the presence of the Most High and before this worshipful provincial Grand Lodge of ancient, free and accepted Masons, regularly convened and assembled, do hereby and hereon most solemnly engage and accept the office of Provincial Grand Master of the Masonic Province of Warwickshire and the duties thereof zealously, faithfully and impartially to administer and to discharge to the best of my skill and ability so long as I shall continue to hold that office. I promise that I will observe and to the utmost of my power enforce all the law, regulations and ordinances of the Grand Lodge and that I will uphold and preserve inviolate the ancient charges, landmarks and usages of the order. I further promise that I will obey the lawful commands of the Most Worshipful, the Grand Master and his deputy. Their councils keep and in every way exert my best endeavours to aid and assist them and see that their work be duly and faithfully executed. So help me the Most High and keep me steadfast in this my solemn obligation as Provincial Grand Master for Warwickshire. You will now salute the volume of the sacred law. Rise, duly obligated, right worshipful brother, Provincial Grand Master. You will now take your chain of office. And I symbolically invest you as Provincial Grand Master for the province of Warwickshire. Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master, you will now take your seat in Provincial Grand Lodge. of Stafford, past Deputy Grand Director of Ceremonies of the United Grand Lodge of England and past Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Grand Lodge of Warwickshire, has been appointed, obligated, invested and installed as the Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master for this Masonic Province of Warwickshire, whom may the great architect of the universe, long preserve. Brethren, we will now greet our newly installed Provincial Grand Master with acclaim. Brethren, I thank you for that kind and fraternal salutation, and I greet you all well. Provincial Grand Master. Whom do you appoint Deputy Provincial Grand Master? Worshipful Brother Peter Philip Manning. Worshipful Brother Peter Manning, you have a long and distinguished career within Warwickshire Freemasonry, having been initiated into the Lodge of Unity number 567 
in 1980. And you have risen to achieve the rank of Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Masonic province of Warwickshire, to which you were appointed in 2016, during which you have taken special responsibility for education and development within the province, and also have been the Provincial Liaison Officer for the U University Scheme. Both roles you have filled with great skill and assiduity, and you are well qualified, therefore, to accept the office to which I am appointing you. But I must now formally require you to undertake that you can conscientiously discharge the duties of this high office to which you are being appointed. I can, right worshipful provincial grand master. Then you will advance to the pedestal. Kneel on both knees. Place both hands on the volume of the sacred law and recite your obligation. To order, brethren. I, Peter Philip Manning, in the presence of the Most High and before the worshipful provincial Grand Lodge of ancient, free and accepted Masons, regularly convened and assembled, do hereby and hereon most solemnly engaged to accept the office of Deputy Provincial Grand Master of this Masonic province of Warwickshire and the duties thereof, zealously, faithfully and impartially to discharge to the best of my skill and ability so long as I shall continue to hold the office. I promise that I will observe and to the utmost of my power enforce all the laws, regulations and ordinances of Grand Lodge and that I will uphold and preserve inviolate the ancient charges, landmarks and usages of the order. I further promise that I will obey the lawful commands of the most worshipful, the Grand Master and his deputy, as well as those of my immediate principal. Their counsellors keep, their counsels keep and in every way exert my best endeavours to aid and assist them and see that their work be duly and faithfully executed. So help me the Most High and keep me steadfast in this my solemn obligation as Deputy Provincial Grand Master of Warwickshire. You will salute the volume of the sacred law. Rise, duly obligated, Deputy Provincial Grand Master. I now invite you to take your chain of office. I now symbolically invest you with your chain as Deputy Provincial Grand Master of Warwickshire. You will now take your seat in Provincial Grand Lodge, prior to which I invite you to collect your patent of office, which I signed earlier this evening and which has been placed in the sanitised tube on the Provincial Grand Secretary's table. Please be seated, brethren. I now call upon the brethren of the province of Warwickshire to please rise. Be it known that Peter Philip Manning of Little Shrewley in the county of Warwickshire, a member of the Chartered Institute of Building, a fellow of the Faculty of Building, a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists, past Senior Grand Deacon of the United Grand Lodge of England and past Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Provincial Grand Lodge of Warwickshire has been appointed, obligated, invested and installed as Deputy Provincial Grand Master of this Masonic province of Warwickshire, whom may the great architect of the universe long preserve. We will now greet our newly installed Deputy Provincial Grand Master with acclaim.
special for Vintra Grandmaster, Brother Warms and Reverend. I thank you for that kindly and fraternal salutation, and I greet you well. Right Worshipful Provincial Grandmaster, whom do you appoint Assistant Provincial Grandmaster? Worshipful Brother David John Moffat Greenwood. Worshipful brother David Greenwood, you are a mason of considerable experience, having been initiated into Rokeby Lodge uh, number 4118 in 1989, and have risen through masonry in Warwickshire to achieve the rank of an assistant provincial grand master, an office you were appointed to in 2018. You have taken on the great responsible job of being the festival chairman for our 2023 festival to achieve the significant aspirations that the province has in raising significant sums of money for the Masonic Charitable Foundation, a task that you have taken to with great vigor and enthusiasm and have been incredibly successful in raising significant sums of money. You are therefore very experienced and qualified to undertake the office to which I am appointing you. However, I must now formally inquire if you can conscious, conscientiously undertake the duties of that high office to which you are being appointed. I can, right worshipful provincial Grand Master. Then you'll advance to the pedestal. Kneel on both knees. Place both hands on the volume of the sacred law and recite your obligation. It's in order, brethren. I, David John Moffat Greenwood, in the presence of the Most High and before this worshipful provincial Grand Lodge of ancient, free and accepted masons, regularly convened and assembled, do hereby and hereon most solemnly engage to accept the office of Assistant Provincial Grand Master of the Masonic Province of Warwickshire, and the duties thereof, zealously, faithfully and impartially to discharge, to the best of my skill and ability, so long as I shall continue to hold that office. I promise that I will observe, and to the utmost of my power enforce all law, regulations and ordinances of the Grand Lodge, and that I will uphold and preserve inviolate the ancient charges, landmarks and usages of the order. I further promise that I will obey and law the lawful commands of the most worshipful the Grand Master and his deputy, as well as those of the right worshipful provincial Grand Master and his deputy. Their councils keep and in every way exert my best endeavours to aid and assist them and see that their work be duly and faithfully executed. So help me the most high and keep me steadfast in this my solemn obligation as Assistant Provincial Grand Master of Warwickshire. You will salute the volume of the sacred law. Rise, duly obligated, Assistant Provincial Grand Master. invite you to take your chain of office. I now symbolically invest you with your chain of office as an Assistant Provincial Grand Master of Warwickshire. I now invite you to take your seat, prior to which you will collect the patent of your office, which I signed earlier this evening, and has been placed in a duly sanitised tube on the Provincial Grand Secretary's table. I now request the Brethren of the Province of Warwickshire to stand. Be it known 
the David John Moffitt Greenwood of Rugby in the County of Warwickshire, HND in Hotel and Catering Management, Metropole College, Oxford, a past Senior Grand Deacon of the United Grand Lodge of England and past Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Provincial Grand Lodge of Warwickshire, has been reappointed, obligated, invested and installed as Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Masonic Province of Warwickshire, whom may the great architect of the universe long preserve. We will now greet our newly installed Assistant Provincial Grand Master with acclaim. Brethren, I thank you for that kind and fraternal salutation and I greet you all well. Brethren, today has been uh, uh, a very emotional day for me. Uh, it has been a very touching indeed to have been installed in such a fine manner by uh, my predecessor, a very rare, if not unique event in Freemasonry. Uh, Worship, right, Worship Brother David Macy, as we all know, has been an outstanding Provincial Grand Master for the province of Warwickshire and a great friend to me over many years. So to be installed not only by my predecessor, but also by my good friend has been an especially nice moment, I have to say. Uh, and I'm very grateful to him for doing it. Thank you, David. What you can't see, brethren, is he is behind the camera now, multitasking in the manner that our past Provincial Grand Master is so well known for. Uh, but it has been very special, and I'm very grateful to our Provincial Grand Secretary, who has put all this together in 48 hours. Uh, Wednesday night, when we heard that our tiers were changing and therefore we would be unable to do this, uh, it was agreed for all the right reasons that we would pursue the installation. And for Derek and his team to have put this together in such fine manner, together with our Provincial Deputy Grand Director of Ceremonies, who has taken on a huge task that normally takes months to learn in less than 48 hours, has been quite remarkable. And I congratulate you both for yeah. all you have done, and thank you. Thank you, David. Sorry, I now call on the Provincial Grand Lodge. Worshipful Provincial Grand Master, whom do you appoint Assistant Provincial Grand Master? Worshipful Brother David Anthony Butcher. Worshipful Brother Nigel James Hawkins. Worshipful Brother Howard Leslie Smith. Worshipful Brother David Butcher, you were initiated into Greville Lodge number 4773 in 1976 and have risen to the rank uh, and were appointed to the rank of Provincial Senior Grand Warden in 2014, an office you served with great distinction. And you are currently the Provincial Grand Mentor for the province of Warwickshire and have been since 2018. You are therefore very experienced, but I must now ask you formally if you can conscientiously undertake and discharge the duties of the high office to which you are being appointed. I can write Worshipful Provincial Grand Master. Worshipful Brother Nigel Hawkins, you were initiated into Freemasonry into the Lodge of Charity number 1551 in 1998. And you too have served the office of Provincial Senior Grand Warden in 2018, again with great distinction. And you are currently the third Provincial Grand Principal of the Holy Royal Arch Province of Warwickshire. You are, too, very experienced Freemason and very capable of filling the role to which I am appointing you, but I must now formally ask if you can conscientiously discharge the duties 
of the high office to which you are being appointed. I can, my worshipful provincial grand master. Worshipful brother Howard Smith, you were initiated into the Lodge of Freedom, number 3914, in 1995 and served the office of Provincial Junior Grand Warden in 2017 and like your fellow brethren also with great distinction. You are currently the Provincial Grand Charity Steward for the Holy Royal Arch Province of Warwickshire and so too are very experienced Freemason and very capable of fulfilling the role to which you are being appointed. But I must now formally ask you if you can conscientiously undertake the duties to the high office to which you are being appointed. I can, right worshipful provincial grandmaster. You will now support the volumes of the sacred law on your left hand. Place your right hand upon the open pages. I shall read the obligation to you and at the end I shall ask you each in turn if you accept that obligation as your own. I, in the presence of the Most High and before this worshipful provincial Grand Lodge of ancient, free and accepted Masons, regularly convened and assembled, do you hereby and hereon most solemnly engaged to accept the office of Assistant Provincial Grand Master of the Masonic Province of Warwickshire and the duties thereof, zealously, faithfully and impartially to, to, to discharge to the best of my skill and ability, so long as I shall continue to hold this office. I promise that I will observe, and to the utmost of my power enforce, all the laws, regulations and ordinances of the Grand Lodge, and that I will uphold and preserve inviolate the ancient charges, landmarks and usages of the order. I further promise that I will obey the lawful commands of the Most Worshipful, the Grand Master and his Deputy, as well as those of the Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master and his Deputy. Their commands keep and in every way exert my best endeavours to aid and assist them, and to see that their work be duly and faithfully executed. So help me the Most High and keep me steadfast in this, my solemn obligation as Assistant Provincial Grand Master of Warwickshire. Do you, Worshipful Brother David Anthony Butcher, accept this obligation? I do, Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master. Do you, Worshipful Brother Nigel James Hawkins, accept this obligation? I do, Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master. Do you, Worshipful Brother Howard Leslie Smith, accept this obligation. I do, Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master. You will salute the volume of the sacred law. You will now replace the volumes of the sacred law on the table. I now symbolically invest you as Assistant Provincial Grand Masters of this Masonic province of Warwickshire and I invite you to place the chains on your shoulders. I now invite you to take your place in Provincial Grand Lodge, prior to which I would invite you to collect the patent of your office which I signed earlier this evening and which has been placed in the sanitised tube on the Provincial Grand Secretary's desk. I now call upon the brethren of this Masonic province of Warwickshire to stand. Be it known that David Anthony Butcher of Kenilworth in the County of Warwickshire, the past Assistant Grand Director of Ceremonies of the United Grand Lodge of England, past Provincial Senior Grand Warden, has been appointed, obligated, invested and installed as Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Masonic Province of Warwickshire. Be it known that Nigel James Hawkins of Studley, 
in the county of Warwickshire. BA Honours in History from the University of Birmingham. A Chartered Certified Accountant. Past Assistant Grand Director of Ceremonies of the United Grand Lodge of England. Past Provincial Senior Grand Warden. Has been appointed, obligated, invested and installed as Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Masonic province of Warwickshire. Be it known that Howard Leslie Smith of Sutton Coalfield in the County of West Midlands, past Provincial Senior Grand Warden, has been appointed, obligated, invested and installed as Assistant Provincial Grand Master of this Masonic province of Warwickshire, whom may the great architect of the universe long preserve. We will now greet our newly installed Assistant Provincial Grand Master with acclaim. Provincial Grand Masters and I thank you for that kind and fraternal salutation and we greet you well. Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master, is it your pleasure to confirm the appointment of all other officers of Provincial Grand Lodge? It is and I do. Right Worshipful Provincial Grand Master, I now present to you the bylaws of your province. <clears throat> Brethren, well tonight has truly been a night of historic firsts. The first time a new Provincial Grand Master has been installed with just five other brethren present. The first time a Provincial Grand Master has been installed by his predecessor. The first time it has happened in Warwick, the county seat. And the first time it has been called off and actually carried out in two halves. And the list can go on and on, brethren. Uh, the decision to install me in such an unconventional manner was certainly not an easy one to reach. I will share with you that I received my letter of appointment on the 15th of April this year which followed a number of discussions over the previous few months. At that time, Freemasonry had just gone into suspension and we had no way of knowing how long that would last for. Plan A had been that my appointment was to be announced at the Provincial Grand Lodge meeting in May, which was to be held at the Rico Arena for the first time, and that Right Worshipful Brother David Macy would retire immediately following the annual church service in June and I will be installed, probably by the uh, Most Worshipful Programme Master, again at the Rico Arena on the 7th of July, with hopefully perhaps some 800 plus Warwickshire brethren and guests there to enjoy the spectacle. Sadly, it was not to be. Right, Worshipful Brother David and I discussed the merits and timing of announcing my appointment on many occasions and had various intentions, but with the ongoing pandemic interfering with so many aspects of our lives, it was felt that to allow the status quo was the most prudent course. As August rolled around and there appeared to be some light at the end of the tunnel, we agreed that the time was right to make the announcement, which we did in early September, and we started to plan for an installation probably in November with 30 people attending, which was the rule at the time. United Grand Lodge of England were on board, and a plan was being hatched to make it work. And then the rule of six was introduced, and it looked like we would have to postpone again, until a discussion took place between me and the Grand Secretary about my being installed by the outgoing Provincial Grand Master. Unconventional, to be sure, but certainly viable. The Provincial Grand Master is the representative of the most worshipful the Grand Master in the province and as such he can act on his behalf. United Grand Lodge of England readily agreed, and so we continued with our plans, and I announced the new team, and that the date of my installation would be the 18th of November, and it all looked set for a go. 
<laughs> brethren. God laughs when men make plans. And the new COVID tier system, which had already impacted the plan, as large parts of the Warwickshire province are under tier two restrictions, and as such, our options were limited. And then came the announcement on Wednesday, this Wednesday just gone, that Staffordshire, where I live, and the borough of Dudley, where right worshipful brother David lives, were to go into tier two on Saturday the 31st at one minute past midnight. So a discussion took place with the good of the province being the primary topic of the discussion, and it was agreed that we should bring forward our plans to this evening. To, de to delay again for such an indefinite period was not an option, as the hiatus it would potentially cause would not have been a healthy one. Everyone came on board, the Provincial Grand Secretary and his team, and the Provincial Grand Director of Ceremonies and his team, all swung into action. And so, here I am, having been so sensitively and thoughtfully installed as the 17th Provincial Grand Master for Warwickshire by my predecessor, in what I hope you agree was a truly unique ceremony that had poignancy for both me and for David, uh, having been friends for many years. To parody our now past Provincial Grand Master, Right Worshipful Brother David Macy was not a good Provincial Grand Master. He was an outstanding one. He was so capable, careful and brilliant in the way he steered this fine province of ours over the ten years of his leadership, years that had been marked by some truly outstanding and, in fairness, some very challenging events, all of which he took in his not inconsiderable stride. By example, under Right Worshipful Brother David's tenure, and through your collective generosity, Warwickshire Masonic Charitable Association has increased its annual donations to non-Masonic charities from £90,000 a year to £200,000 a year. A quite remarkable sum. We will all be truly grateful to David for all he has done, and his fine legacy will resonate across Warwickshire for many years to come. Thank you, David, and I promise to do all I can to honour that legacy, and also that when times allow, to ensure that we will celebrate that legacy in fine Warwickshire style. I have today invested a new team to help me in the progress of our province. They are all very experienced and well-liked Masons who share my fundamental philosophy that the province is here to serve the brethren and all we do should be with that laser level of focus. My new deputy, Worshipful Brother Peter Manning, is well known to you all and his kindness, intelligence and dedication has been experienced by many of you. His work in recent months with the In Touch weekly magazine has been outstanding and I know the whole team is keen to reinvigorate the means of keeping in touch with all our brethren across the whole province. With Peter's considerable support and imagination, I know that we will be able to do just that. Worshipful Brother David Greenwood is equally well known and his careful steering of the province towards our 2023 festival aspirations have been wonderful. This difficult period within Freemasonry has made this an even bigger challenge but I am sure with the unwavering kindness and generosity of our Warwickshire brethren, we will all pull together to make the 2023 festival the success we all want it to be. We stand at around 64% of our festival aspirations, and with David's drive and tireless energy, he will continue to skillfully lead the festival to smash through that target, despite, or perhaps in spite, of the challenges we face. And I am grateful to him for all he will do. The new assistant Provincial Grand Masters, Worshipful Brothers David Butcher, Nigel Hawkins and Howard Smith, are all equally well known across Warwickshire and have all been such supporters of the province over many years. All past wardens, they each bring a specific skill set to the team, which we will all benefit from in the coming years. David will be looking after the visiting officer scheme, so brilliantly run by his predecessor, Worshipful Brother John Hayward, to whom I am very grateful. Nigel will be looking after education and development alongside the university scheme, previously run by Peter Manning, our new deputy, and again with his consummate skill. And Howard takes over membership, for which I believe he is perfectly suited and will be able to build on the fine work of his predecessor, Worshipful Brother David Stanford. 
You will see, brethren, that my cunning strategy is to surround myself with a team of highly intelligent and immensely capable brethren, a strategy that has worked to great effect when wearing my other hat as most excellent Grand Superintendent. Mentioning my dual role, I am very proud to be the seventh Provincial Grand Master to also serve as Grand Superintendent in Warwickshire. Right Worshipful Brother Stanley Lates was the last to do so in 1992. I am sure you all know the mantra of the indissoluble link, so I don't need to repeat it today, but I hope that this dual role, known rather freakily as a double header, will enable pure and ancient Freemasonry to flourish in Warwickshire, and that the close ties between the craft and the Royal Arch will strengthen even further. The time I have available to fill both roles whilst also running my own small business, and of course, not neglecting my family, which is of primary importance to me. Remember my other mantra, brethren, is family, work, Freemasonry, in that order. I stated that when I became Grand Superintendent. But it does mean I have little spare capacity to join other orders. I am so supportive, though, of all those brethren who choose to do so. Within our organisation, we have such a broad and eclectic choice of wonderful Masonic orders to explore, led by such talented and interesting brethren. If you have the time to join them, brethren, I would encourage you to do so, as I truly believe your Masonic experience will be enriched as a consequence. Well, brethren, today has been unique and yet rather magical for me, and I hope you will all understand and appreciate the very sound reasons we made for installing me in this way. The work put into organising this in just 48 hours by our brilliant Provincial Grand Secretary, Worshipful Brother Derek Lodge, who's working the camera as we speak, and his team has been quite phenomenal. And I am so grateful for all you have done and continue to do so, Derek. Please also pass on my personal thanks to Wendy, whose tireless efforts keep, help to keep the administrative wheels of the province turning. Likewise, I am grateful to our Provincial Deputy Grand Director of Ceremonies, Worshipful Brother Andy Dobbins, who was thrown into this challenge as the Provincial Grand Director of Ceremony, Ceremonies, Worshipful Brother Peter Clark, was frustratingly prevented from attending because he lives under Tier 2 restrictions. Worshipful Brother Andy, well done. And when the video of this is seen, I know you will be rightly proud of what you have achieved with less than 48 hours notice. Quite remarkable. Brethren, you don't need me to tell you that we are living through challenging times that show no signs of abating. But let us remember that Freemasonry has been around for over 300 years. It has seen many turbulent times over those last three centuries, and it has never failed to bounce back stronger than before. And with all your continued support, Freemasonry in general, and Warwickshire in particular, will bounce back strongly, and we will once again enjoy the fraternal company with our friends and practice this important and significant part of our lives once again. Stay safe and stay well, brethren, and may the great architect of the universe protect you all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, brethren.